so when the naysayers come out, it, it means that you're doing the good work uh, because clearly the status quo sucks. It does. Speaking of status quo sucking, you think kale is unhealthy for us to eat. <laughs> <laughs> It might, it might be a bit of an overstatement, but <laughs> I, I'm a, a, like you, I really care about the microbiome. And I spent 15 years of my life on antibiotics for chronic sinus infections. So I had a truly racked gut uh, that is now recovered. And along the way, I got to be friends. Now I'm an investor and advisor in a company called Viome yep. that quantifies gut bacteria at a very detailed level. And their data set from tens of thousands of people shows that roughly a third of people don't have bacteria that can break down oxalic acid or oxalates. So what happens is this compound that's very high in kale, uh, it goes into the blood. It meets free calcium there, and extra calcium, as you know, ages you pretty quickly. You should not have extra calcium floating around in your blood, but you probably do. And when it hits the calcium, it forms microcrystals that then stick in your joints and cause pain. It's associated with brain inflammation, potentially with autism. And the worst condition of all that it's associated with is called vulvodynia, which is extremely painful vulva in women to the point they can't even wear underwear. I mean, it looked really bad pain and it's caused by these microcrystals. So if you're sitting there eating one of these, uh, you know, raw kale salads once or twice a day, it's also associated with kidney stones that come from not uric acid, but oxalic acid. The producer on the movie that I filmed about toxic mold called Moldy Movie, it, by the way, it's free, moldymovie.com. Um, this is kind of my giving back because mold jacked up my health so much. I'm like, well, here's what it's doing. And the producer was eating two kale salads a day. She gets kidney stones in the middle of the of the movie. I'm like, well, that's what happens. So I actually recommend on the Bulletproof blog, if you're going to eat kale, for God's sake, cook it. It's okay to cook it. Dump the water where mostly the oxalic acid is. Maybe add some baking soda or some calcium to precipitate the crystals out. But raw kale, my sheep, I, I have a small farm. My sheep will spit out raw kale. It's really not good food. <laughs> well, I've actually seen uh, a couple of women uh, who have come to me for hypothyroidism and they basically were having a kale smoothie in the morning and a kale salad for for lunch and a kale salad for dinner and it was actually suppressing their thyroid function they didn't have Hashimoto's thyroid allergies they thought they had but we took their we didn't take it away from them but we dramatically limited their kale and it solved the problem yeah, if you have some kale once a week and you don't wake up with joint pain, great, you know, enjoy it. I would say eat the dino kale, the stuff that isn't all lacy. The lacy kale is particularly high in these compounds. And there's something else really scary about kale. There's a toxic metal called thallium. It's called the poisoner's poison. It disrupts potassium in our cells. Kale, even organic kale, bioaccumulates that stuff like nothing else. When we put, when we took lead out of our gasoline, we put thallium in the gasoline instead, which is a thousand times more toxic than lead, which itself, any amount of lead in your body, increases your risk of cardiovascular disease dramatically. So now we're eating a food that has oxalic acid and high thallium levels, which disrupts cellular metabolism, and we're thinking we're making ourselves healthy. So look, if you love kale, eat some kale. But you could also eat some french fries. They're probably equivalent. <laughs> 